X, do you think alcohol ads should be treated the same as smoking ads? Personally, absolutely. Uh, I make no secret of it that I have a very coloured opinion of drinking culture and drinking. I really dislike it. I find it kind of kind of crazy, like how indoctrinated into culture drinking culture is. Just like this totally accepted normality of altering your state of conscious and you know, like of all the ways you can alter your state of consciousness, alcohol is a pretty rowdy and destructive way to do that. Not everyone's a violent drunk or anything, but a lot of people are. Like, there's a big percentage of people that do ridiculous things when they're drunk. Uh, me being one of them. Like, that's why I don't drink, okay? Because of all the stupid stuff I did. Um, but there's a whole culture of acceptance around drinking. It's totally normal and like... And it's also a lot of drinking is very habitual, at least the way I observe it, um, like regular drinking, which is, you know, a step away from addiction seems to be incredibly common. And so I have a very colored and uh, distasteful opinion of drinking and alcohol. I really don't like it and how it is a big part of society. I'm not telling anyone they should like drink or not. I'm just trying to make it clear. Hey, that's just how I feel. Right. I mean, I would probably love to see the government put in some big steps to reduce the amount of alcohol consumption for the sake of people's physical and mental health. But, you know, what kind of kickback is that going to get? You take people's alcohol away and can you imagine they go mad? <laughs> I certainly know a lot of people that drink. And one of the common things about people who drink regularly is that they are probably further along being an addict than they realize. Of course, it's normalized. Life sucks and drinking can make it suck a little less, says Crystal. Yeah, I'm not sure that it does make it suck a little less, though. I think it just distracts you from what sucks. Also, saying, like, life sucks, I mean, that could be an attitude you can have. I don't think life sucks. I think I think you can uh, end up in bad places and things. times can be difficult and tough. But overall, I think, you know, life's an incredible thing. It's a gift to have life. And it has its struggles, its ups and downs, but yeah, that, that the just general like life sucks full stop is not particularly uh, productive. There is a big difference between enjoying a drink and getting drunk, says Prax. There is, yeah. Okay, so here in the UK, let's talk about that difference, right? Getting drunk is a part of our culture, okay? It's, it's not like the... If I speak in terms of majorities and not, it's about perception. I don't have statistical data here, but I think anyone from the UK could reasonably agree that there is probably a, let's say, a, a sizable portion of the drinking culture that is about getting drunk, that is about getting off your face, as they might say, or getting on the raz. Like, it is a really big part of the culture here to drink yourself to you know, a place where you don't make normal decisions, right? That's a big part of the culture here. Might be different in different countries. You know, that's how culture works. Different different kind of practices, different ways of treating stuff. I know in some European countries, it's very common to drink early in the day, but that's because people there don't drink all day long. You know, they'll have a drink with a meal and they'll probably have a handle on it. Over here in the UK, it's really different. It's about getting off your face and... Uh, a big sizable portion is into that. I, I know from my own experiences and from observing that when you participate in that culture, you're pretty much you're pretty much an addict. If you if you want to admit it to yourself or not, I think um a large portion of the people that participate in this culture you could classify as being addicted. And they probably wouldn't admit it, but you know. No one wants to be told they're an addict, right? But it's uh, yeah, it's a very tricky thing to put into words what addiction is, because when when you're in the middle of it, you you can't see it, but you also can't go without your drink. I don't like to talk about it very much, but you know, to to emphasise my point, looking back at my own behaviour, like not having access to alcohol would ruin my weekend. That is problematic that not having access to drinking puts you in a bad mood, right? And I'll see that happen to other people as well. Like, uh, And it will just remind me of 
what that was like for myself. That's why I guess I say it like that. Leonus Zero is here at Cheers and Bits saying, I have to say, I'm very glad you have this opinion since I know very little people that think so too. I hate how people act like it's the only way to have fun and if you don't drink, you're boring. Also, personally knowing people that have a problem with addiction, I wish people would be more careful with it. Yeah, yeah, it's a couple of points there. Thank you for the cheers and bits, by the way. People treating you like you're boring, I know that. Being the boring one because I don't drink anymore. Like, I know who I am. I know why I do what I do. And if people want to say, you know, you're boring because you don't drink or whatever, like, I just let that one go. Just let go of it because it's, it's kind of like... If you think you need substance to enjoy yourself, that's a problem. But it's so hard to explain it to people with that attitude. Uh, I have far more enjoyment, I think, these days over things. I treasure my time so much more being sober than I ever did when I was intoxicated. And of course, I've had good times when I was intoxicated with friends, you know, great memories and whatnot, but also a lot of distress and discomfort that came with that and bad times and bad memories. And being sober is just having control over yourself and having control over your thoughts and feelings. And I have fun. I have a good time. I enjoy, I enjoy life. It's ridiculous to assume that you're going to be boring just because you don't drink. But what underpins that is that people do wild stuff when they're drunk, right? Which you don't do when you're sober and that's probably where it comes from like the risks that you'll take the stupid things that you're doing a lot of the time you end up getting away with them and sometimes you don't but yeah I know exactly where you're coming from with that it's difficult but what I would say is just just know yourself right know yourself because the people that then also know you won't say that to you but if you bow if you bow to the pressure then you'll just be caught in their trap I made a decision to stop drinking about a year ago and I still get offered drinks by friends and I feel sort of pressured almost even though they know I don't drink at all. Uh, Haribo, maybe just, uh, I don't know if you do this already, maybe just politely ask them not to offer you drinks anymore and hopefully they can be supportive and understand. And if they're not, just remember that the culture is like indoctrinating. Like don't put it on a friend. Don't think of them badly because they don't understand you or, or listen to you like it's part of the culture really but yeah for me my friends don't do that to me like i it's been so long now that like i think everyone just totally gets that i just will not drink i i also believe i'm incredibly resolute about it like i don't feel tempted in the slightest where i am at like i even have dreams that are nightmares about drinking and smoking again and all that every now and then i'll have one and i'll wake up and i'll be like no <laughs> and then after a while, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, that's a dream. Oh, thank goodness. But when I first, when I first quit, it was, it was a gradual process to, um, to get away from it. But I think I, think I kind of knew it had to be permanent at one point or another. Like with addiction and with um, struggles in life and trying to better yourself, one of the things you have to learn at one point is that like, there isn't this place you're trying to get to you're not going to be okay again one day. You're always going to be fighting that fight. And that, I think, once you realize that, it helps you be very resolute in realizing that it's like, it's, it's like permanent damage. You've just got to not do this anymore because you'll end up where you once were again. Um, and, and if you can accept that and take that in, then that becomes a strength because then you realize it's always a struggle. And in a weird way, that lets you accept, okay, you can't do that anymore. You're over it. I think the main thing is making sure you're self-aware when you drink and knowing when you've had too much as reps. Maybe, like I've been trying to point out, I have a very colored view of this and I look at the culture around me as being very close to like addiction for a lot of people. So, you know, the whole knowing your limits and have, it, it's one of those things like, yeah, maybe, but you also hear that language and thinking from people who don't know their limits. So it's a tricky one. It's a really tricky one. 